a senseless waste of human life and you'd always claim to be justified by those that are perpetrating it. It seems to be based on, on whims and on uh, historical events without a great deal of reason. Uh, so on that basis it ought to be ra random in its occurrence. But in fact that is not so. There have been several people over the last hundred years that have made studies of wars and when they occur. And, uh, and they found that in fact there are regular repeatable cycles in the occurrence of war and they are related to other things. Now, two of the people that did the early work in this are uh, Alexander Krzyzewski in Russia and Raymond Wheeler in America. And further analysis of that work has been done by Edward Dewey at the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. So a lot of cycles have been identified in wars based on records of 2,500 of years of analysis of history and uh, a war index that was developed by Wheeler showing um, the number of battles of various severities all added up each year. This graph shows starting from 500 BC, 600 BC, it shows the number of battles or war index for each year running century after century. And we can see that as time goes by, the number of wars has increased, or it may just be that our information about them is not so good uh, for the more historical periods, coming right through to the time eventually, uh, with notes on this. And we can see as we come into this, into the 20th century, these two huge world wars dominating things. One of the strongest cycles present in wars is the 11 and 11 year cycle uh, where it turns out that the peaks in the amount of wars corresponds to the 11 year sunspot cycle maximum and troughs when the sunspots are at troughs. There is also a 22 year cycle in wars uh, which is connected with the fact that the uh, sun reverses its north and south poles every 11 year cycle, so it takes the 22 years to complete that cycle. Cycles of about 54 years and of 142 years have also been found in wars. The 54 year cycle is connected with crisis and such things as, as depressions around the world. The 142 year cycle is found in some other things also. A shorter 6 year cycle is also present in several other cycles. But the 11 year cycle is really the dominant one um, and in recent times, since these discoveries were made in the 1950s and 60s, these analysis were done, the, it has continued to be the case that many wars have broken out at, and uh, come to a maximum at these times of the sunspot cycle maximum. And the various Gulf Wars and so on, invasion of Afghanistan, um, the Russian invasions in Eastern Europe have all occurred at the times of sunspot maximum. This is a graph showing the 142 year cycle in war compared to uh, an ideal graph shown by the dot alone. You can see for the last 1200 years it's been pretty consistently following that 142 year cycle. This is the 11.2 year cycle found in wars compared to the dashed line which is an ideal representation of the cycle. The time that one is slightly off it, but overall it tends to follow the cycle quite well. So if there are cycles and wars, this means that war is not caused by random events happening uh, in countries or personalities and so on, but it's caused by some sort of natural forces that lead these events to unfold and uh, Edward Dewey often talked about unseen forces and these can be seen to be present in everything that we study we find cycles and there are some unseen forces and we can speculate about what they are but there's no doubt that these things exist that, that things like war um, are actually predictable to a fair degree when they're more likely to be wars and when they're likely to be less and running forward Dewey's analysis of those cycles, uh, which was done in the, in the 1960s, uh, we can, we've actually had 40 years unfold since then, and it's been a reasonably accurate indicator of when new wars would start, uh, especially when we look at the 11-year the cycle 
in relationship to the sunspots. All of us leads us to have to look at the world in a different way to what people normally have, to see that there's something going on that uh, is not in the picture that we normally have about how things happen. It's as if there's some great cosmic music playing. Uh, it's rhythm, boom, boom, dee, boom, 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 and through that rhythm, events unfold on a very large scale. And we're merely bit part players. We're not the causes of these things to happen. We're just dancing to this cosmic music. So it's a, it takes a whole different way of thinking. And it's not natural for people in our modern time to think this way, but rather to think, particularly in the West, people think that they're master of their own destiny. Um, and it leads to a lot of unhappy happiness because uh, people are sure they can change these things, but in actual fact they can't. So hopefully this is a, something that allows us to start to look at the world in a little bit different way.